The country of Singapore, apparently it has a very low crime rate. The place is very clean. You don't have to worry much about uh, theft or other such crime. And what a lot of people, or at least some people, they attribute that to the fact that they use caning as a form of punishment in Singapore. Caning, it's where they hit you with a stick. Just like in certain schools where they can use corporal punishment where they, they will hit you with a wooden board, like this one here, which as you can see, this one's broken into pieces, but it's a board like that called a paddle. That's what they, in some schools, which they will hit students with. And what I find really ironic and disgusting is that if a child's being abused, the first person that child should go to would be their parents. You know, that's just common sense. If a child's being abused, the first person they would go to would be their mom and or their dad. Now, if the abusers happen to be the parents, though, as happens in some cases, unfortunately, if the ch child's being abused by their parents, the next person or people they should go to would be school teachers, somebody at school. They, you know, they should tell a teacher or some other uh, school person about the abuse they're suffering at the hands of their parents. So what I find really disgusting is that children can be abused at school as well, just like at home. Now, caning, what they do in Singapore, that is where they strap you naked into some kind of contraption where your buttocks is sticking out, and then they hit you on the butt with a rattan stick, a soaked rattan stick. Usually they'll have some big, big strong guy administering the strikes. And there is a famous case of this American boy, this was some years back, this American boy who was caned in Singapore because of uh, some of the spray painting he was doing and, vandal and, and other such vandalism, and, and he was caned for that, and it was a famous case. Now, caning can only be done with men. Cannot cane women in Singapore. And so I don't see how they can paddle female students in, in school if, if they can't cane women in Singapore. But, you know... As messed up as the caning is, at least they don't cane women. I, I don't see how they can get away with that, with, with, with caning female students in school. That just goes to show you how, in some ways, America can be worse than Singapore with, with their school systems. Uh, now, some people like to say that it's because of the caning. That's why they have such a, a low crime rate, because they, they put their uh, crooks in line with the canes. And, you know. <laughs> If, if you break the law, you're going to get it with the cane, and that puts fear into people so they don't break the law. Uh, no, that is not the case. That is not why there's such a low crime rate in Singapore. The reason for their so-called low crime rate is because Singapore is a police state. You have practically no freedom. The government controls your life almost 100%. Believe it or not, in, in Singapore, chewing gum is a crime, to, to have chewing gum, that Chewing gum has been outlawed in Singapore. You won't get caned for having chewing gum, but I think you'll get fined or something. But just the fact that they have, that, that their law prohibits chewing gum just shows you how how restrictive they are and how you don't have any freedom there. And there's other countries that also use cane or other such forms of uh, physical punishment for criminals, such as Malaysia. They also cane in Malaysia. And Malaysia is quite crime-ridden. It's, it's not like Singapore. They've got a problem with crime in Malaysia. So that just goes to show you that caning does not cut down on crime. Also, the Middle East. The Middle East is where they uh, lash. They, they'll, they'll lash people as a form of punishment. And they do it on women, too, as well as uh, on men. That They'll lash women in the Middle East. And uh, I, I once read some news report of some woman somewhere in the Middle East getting 40 lashes for some reason. But Middle East, we know how, how messed up it is there. Uh, you can't get on a bus in the Middle East without a good possibility of a bomb going off. They, they have bombs on, on buses. It's quite common in the Middle East and in other such public places. The, the place is just so crime-ridden there. So that just goes to show you that the cane is not how you cut down on crime and that Singapore is a bad example. Singapore is a bad example about why we should use corporal punishment in schools or why should we why should we should use caning. After all, as it shows, paddling in schools does not cut down on crime in those states where it's used. For instance, Texas, which is perhaps the worst state in terms of paddling, tons of crime in Texas and, and, and racism and white supremacy and, and lynchings. 
the uh, top 10 lynching states are, most of those same states are the top 10 paddling states, including Texas. Including Texas. Texas uh, falls into the list of top 10 most lynching states that lynch the most. And uh, they are, as I said, they're perhaps the worst state in terms of paddling students in school. Or Alabama, another example. They, they also, they paddle a lot in Alabama. And there's a, there's a lot of lynching there as well. And uh, a lot of racism, a lot of hate. And, and so that just goes to show you that paddling or caning, for that matter, does not cut down on crime. And to say that that's why Singapore has a low crime rate, that is a very bad example. You have not done your research. If you think that just because they cane, that's why they don't have uh, crime in Singapore. As I said, look at Malaysia, look at the Middle East. Uh, so people need to get their facts straight. You can't just take one aspect, say, oh, it's all just because they cane, that's why they don't have crime in Singapore. The trade-off, at least the trade-off that Singapore uses, is that your life's controlled by the government. And that, in and of itself, if you ask me, is a crime. So Singapore is not the solution. Canning's not the solution. I just like to make this point very clear. There's some people who have been saying on my videos about how, uh, how Singapore has a low crime rate because they cane. And that... It's the states in, in, in the United States, the states that don't paddle, have the highest crime rates. Well, I just pointed out how that is not the case. The states where they paddle is the states where they lynch. So people need to get their facts straight, all right? Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.